Hello and welcome back. Today I will show you how to connect both a local JSON file and a JSON data from the web to your Power BI report. By the end of this video, you will be able to integrate these data sources to enhance your data visualization and reporting capabilities. So let's start the video after the short intro. I have opened Power BI desktop. From here, I will click on blank report. First, let's connect to the JSON file from your local PC. I will click on get data dropdown and click on more. I can see the JSON type document import facility here. If you don't see the JSON document type here, you can search for JSON and then you can get it. So you will select that and click connect. It will open up your local file explorer. You have to search for that document you want to load. So I can see there is a sample for document which is a JSON type. I will select that and click open. Once the connection is established with your JSON file sitting on your local PC, you will see the Power Query editor window open. And you can see on the left hand side, the query, which is a table name, is essentially the file name. So you can see the records within that file. So there were three records in that JSON file. If I go to the source and click this drop down, I can see the path to this file. I'll go back to home and click close and apply changes. Now it is loading the JSON file to the model. Now we can see that three rows are loaded. If I draw a table here and then if I go to that sample for file and select person, first name, last name and gender, I can see the information is populating in this table from that JSON file. So this is how you connect a JSON file from your local PC. Now, if you have a JSON file sitting somewhere on the web, we can connect to that as well. For example, this is from the GitHub. Some dummy data files are available here. So I will click on this 5MB JSON file. This will give me a URL of that file and also the detail of the JSON file, what data is in there. So I will select this URL and then I'll copy it. We'll come back to the Power BI report. From the top menu, click on Get Data dropdown again. And this time we will select the web so import data from the web page so i will click that i will paste the url we initially copied from that json web page i will click ok once the connection is established with the json file from the web power query editor will open so if i click on the source and then click on this drop down here we can see that this report is connected to the json file from the web and the file name was 5mb so it is created a table called 5mb so if i go to home Click close and apply. Now we can see the 5MB table is also appearing here. I will drop another table and then from the 5MB, I will select name, maybe ID and bio. So we can see this data from the JSON online version. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial have empowered you to connect local and web-based JSON file to your Power BI reports with ease. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more tips and tutorials on mastering Power Platform technology. If you have any question or any video you would like me to cover in the future videos, drop them in the comment section below. I review the comment on a daily basis. I'll be happy to answer your question. See you in the next video.